Well, I suppose once Capcom saw that they were on a roll with the remake of Resident Evil 2 last year, just kind of decided to move on forward and get the remake of RE3 out as soon as possible. So, uh, good early morning, fellow YouTubers. This is Sarah's Night, and I've decided to, much like with Resident Evil 2 remake, to uh, blind let LP uh, Resident Evil 3 as soon as it came out. Now, granted, I wasn't, uh, like, watching the clock down to a release time like I was with RE2. Uh, you know, like, uh, this has been available on Steam for at least a few hours so far. But, you know, once I thought to check, I was like, oh, hey, it's uh, April 3rd. This should be the day. I instantly got to download it and went to get to LP and get right away. So you could get just full-on uh, blind reaction to it. All right, well, I've heard that this is actually, at least from a friend, that the only things I know about RE3, like I haven't played a demo or anything for any amount of time. I know what Jill and Carlos are going to look like, and a friend at work the other night, who is kind of an RE fan as well, he said that he'd heard that... Uh, this time they made Nemesis, like, even more ridiculous trying to fight this dude. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to that. So I'm kind of tempted to go with assisted mode, but, you know, even though these are definitely the remakes of RE2, and surely this game as well will be more difficult than their uh, original versions. Gotta do the right thing and go with standard. Don't want to be a wuss about this. Alright, Capcom, what you got? This pandemic has spread faster well, than any disease this looks real. Like they were filming a live-action movie. Wait a minute, what the... Oh, what was that? Uh, city the CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the U.S. Is that like a dude kamikaze onto a car windshield, like trying to commit suicide, or what is, was it a zombie, a fast-moving zombie? Yeah, that dude. That dude looks like one step less sleazy than Martin Screlly. It's this foundation that will continue to build Matt Gorky. I assume it's Gorky, not Gorkus. Oh, yeah. Is this Nemesis? I'll bet it is. Well, I gotta say, so far, not completely as overwhelming as I felt uh, in the opening scenes of RE2, but hey, I mean, could barely top that. And the fact remains that it was hard to get as hyped for the RE3 remake, since I didn't like the original version quite as much as original RE2, and definitely haven't been waiting and thus, you know, building up anticipation for so long, so that's definitely not a strike against this game. Yeah, rise and shine. Rise and shine. Yeah, rise and shine, Jill. That totally just flubbed on that. Uh, do you feel safe in that apartment? I mean, there's like a window right there over your bed. A zombie could just shatter the glass when it smells blood. Oh well, this is on a second floor, so I guess it's okay. See, I had no idea. Um. Is this whole game going to be in first person, like RE7? I mean, cool. If so, I actually had no idea uh, how it was going to be. Again, pretty much the only things I knew going into this is what Jill and Carlos are supposed to look like. And info from a fellow RE fan that supposedly Nemesis is going to be quite a handful 
Oh. There's our plucky heroine, Jill. An attractive lady without being over the top about it. That's nice. Ah, here's our gun. Can we pick it up? Uh, maybe not yet. Why was the water running at... Whoa. Why is her nose bleeding? Okay, I'm going to assume she's having a dream about becoming a zombie or something. And then we'll wake up and get to real story here. Actually, wouldn't that be quite the twist if it turns out you do not play as Jill in this game at all, that the story has her actually becoming a zombie and dying. <laughs> and like the whole game you just play as Carlos, you never meet Jill. It would be a ballsy move. Yeah, of course it's a dream. Okay, let's, uh, let's not start right out with the Rob Zombie levels of cursing here. Come on. Yeah, apartment is not so neat and tidy in the real world. It is nice and spacey, though. I would kind of like to have an apartment like that. Interesting floor model, actually. In fact, there's just an open space like in the wall right behind her bed. Overlooking the main area. Okay, I'm sorry if the movement looks a little jerky, guys. Uh, I'm presuming that it's not supposed to be like that. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. The mere fact that my graphics card is probably about two years old, <laughs> only that much, it probably already uh, makes it so that this is not going to play at absolute optimum. turn that on right there <laughs> okay I'm guessing she was actually uh, she was actually turned on slowly for fear that oh my gosh in reality, am I actually about to become a zombie like because I just dreamt of it I don't want to look at myself I don't know why I really like this uh, kind of comb over hairstyle Jill's got going here if I recall, it was more parted in the middle in the original. Oh, 8.07 p.m., not a.m. But then again, uh, just like in the original, uh, it took place mostly at night. All right, I'm coming. All right, I'm coming. Oh, was it the phone? Sorry, I don't have the... Uh, Volume Hello? turned up that high so I can hear myself talking and everything. Is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my. Uh, oh, really? We're jumping right into it. Nemesis shows up right at the beginning. And Brad warned me like literally seconds before. Jill, what did you think that was going to do? Come on. This is like Super Tyrant. <laughs> the fact that you even stood against the door like you could brace it. Or the fact that you even have the energy to run at all, even though he like slammed you into the ground with Tyrant crushing force twice. Oh, yeah, that actually uh, put me on caution, too. I like how I'm in another apartment. Nobody cares. I mean, most of the city is dead, so, you know. Ah, uh, that was a good one, Capcom. Straight into the action. 
in the opening movie nemesis shows up i don't even have like the lousy 10 15 minutes of gameplay beforehand to kind of get my bearings actually i'm surprised considering it was nemesis that his even his tentacles were not harder than that like she could just slice it in half in one good swing with a piece of glass okay. yeah he's not gonna give up honey he's so strong with that punch he actually uh oh I'm surprised I'm not doing like quick time events with this. And I'm just limping away. I have a feeling we are barely going to know a moment's peace. In this version of RA3. Even more so than the original. Well, I survived so far. Oh, hey, there's Brad. Brad. I'm glad I'm not, like, okay? pissed at him or anything for, you know, Can't leaving us for dead in RE1. Right now it's got a hard on to the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. <laughs> and it's smart. I can't call you Chicken Heart Vickers for that, buddy. Okay, aren't you worried that any of these guys running are zombies and not... Okay, by the way, how do we run in this? Is it the same controls as RE2 where I have to, like, press down on... Or maybe we're just not meant to run right now. Okay, there we go. Now it's giving us the command. So you say... Brad had to turn around and notice that he was running straight toward it. There's so many. Yeah, there's so many. So why don't we uh, take a run instead of letting them crawl up to us? This must be the bar. Huh? Well, good thinking, Brad. You know, I hope Brad at least lives for a little bit. No, oh, he got bit. He's probably already finished. Are going to be soon enough. We're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! No! Huh. Brad redeems himself for his cowardly ways. Kinda sucks that he died already though. I mean, I'm assuming this I, I might see him like once more. Just like in the original for Nemesis to show up and finish him off, but either way, he's probably already had it. I mean, he was bitten by a zombie, so if we're gonna go by, you know, the normal rules of when you get bit, other than the RE protagonist, playable protagonist immunity to it. Okay, uh, there's more than one, so let's not do that. Uh, by the way, did Jill always have that holster on? Uh, when did she put that on? Did she have it? Okay. Parking garage roof, okay. Well, so far, nothing looks, uh, the same. In terms of the layout. Or maybe this is the warehouse. Oh, yeah, that's Dario. He's a lot older and has a mustache, I think. Well, no helping him, I guess. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. 
Okay, come on, game. Don't make him into, like, an asshole now who's gonna try to kill her or something because he's that paranoid. I mean, it's kind of horrible enough that he's going to, you know, wait in there to die. Dude, chill. I had totally forgotten about him. Okay, so how do we don the knife? Oh, I guess it's its own weapon and not like a defense weapon or something. Okay. And for some reason, somebody decided to spray paint curse words on the wall. Damn it. Just damn it. And woo. Resident Evil dog. I'm going to assume I'm safe for now from them. But let's move out of here in case there's a time limit on how long they'll stay on the other side of the fence before I try to jump over. You know, that kind of happened so quickly. I mean, Brad has survived all this time. Just boom, as soon as Jill sees him, like five seconds later, he gets bit. And he's like, well, I'm dead. It was nice that he made that valiant effort to... Ensure that Jill stays alive, though, for now. Oh, of course, that one zombie's not aggressive enough to actually bite her right away. It looks so far like they're pretty much behaving the same way that the zombies in uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake did. Which, in a way, that's good. That means I kind of have some familiarity with how to combat them. Yeah, dude's gonna get shot down with a rocket launcher from Nemesis, you know it. They're already gonna skip the foreplay on that scene, too. That didn't happen until like two-thirds of the way through the game in the original. <laughs> Chill's just got this look on her face like, why? It's also nice that even... Even in a pinch, she's like, takes time to be respectful of the corpse, like, I I'm really sorry. I have to treat you like this, just to... It's also a good thing Nemesis can't seem to run right now. Oh boy, I uh, better hold that. At first I thought that was saying to hit it repeatedly. Okay, what? Now, come on. I actually hit the ground nose first. I mean, yeah, the car eventually flipped over and landed flat, but... It looked like I fell several stories. There is no way that Jill is not more hurt than this. Even Jill. Uh, okay. What do I do? Um, what do I do? <laughs> hey, is that Brad? Did, did Brad come back for, uh, oh. Carlos. <laughs> the rocket launcher just stuns him for a while. Think about it, like, it blew the original Tyrant, or at least the second version, I think it was 002 in uh, the first Resident Evil game. It blew it to pieces in one shot. Well, 
Well, met Carlos early on too. Kind of makes me wonder how long this game's going to end up being. As in, not possibly not as long as the original. My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Hopefully, you do understand oh, that. Carlos. Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. I don't think Jill was saying that in the way that, like, you know, she she was thinking you were a potential groper or anything here, and she was highly uncomfortable. I think she was just being like, "Hey, I'm cool. Don't don't fuss over me." No thanks. He's all yours. Promise you're in good hands. With the umbrella. If this is supposed to be Carlos, though. Are you kidding me? He definitely seems a lot. Oh, what's this about? You don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Oh. That was the uh, conversation when she first meets Carlos and gets away from Nemesis in the original. She was like, hey, uh, Umbrella's responsible, so why are you saying you're here to rescue people like me? Well, actually, let's have a look at the interior here. It's kind of having flashbacks to the evil within during Chapter 14 when you're in that subway area. Traditional Japanese restaurant, Cole. I don't know why, but this suddenly makes me hungry for Chinese or Japanese food. Too early in the morning for that, though. And of course, uh, I presume, um, yeah, we're on quarantine right now for the coronavirus, so couldn't score some anyway, even if I wanted to. Science Forum. Discussion between Dr. Light and Dr. Wiley. I, was, I can't believe I didn't recognize right away before reading that 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 looks an awful lot like uh, Light and Wiley. Nice. Jim's crabs. <laughs> that makes the clown from It look less threatening. Skull Stalker, which is apparently the Terminator. They weren't extinct, only sleeping. Tyrant of the Deep. Also kind of reminded me just now of the uh, book Deep Trouble from uh, Goosebumps. You, any of y'all read that as a kid, like I did? I think, like, on some Nickelodeon award show one time, you know, around that time, just sometime in the 90s when Goosebumps were... In deep, deep Trouble, it was fairly new. I think it was, like, number 19 in the series. That was actually voted, like, favorite book or something by the kids. Uh, it must have been one of those Kids' Choice Awards shows. I just have vague memory of that. Big E... Back home for one night only. Okay, that's got to be some reference there. I just don't know. There's Mega Man. The Great Gladiator Living Corpses Fighting Story. I don't know why I'm not getting what any of these are referring to. They gotta be. Surely I know and I'm just not thinking. Except for Mega Man. Of course, they could be blatant about that one. I mean, Capcom made Mega Man, so... Hell said zero. Ah, uh, whatever. Carlos is waiting for me. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Hey, Mikhail. You have a beard, unlike uh, last time. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady your name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. Or actually, is this Nikolai? He's... Nice to meet you. Oh, no. It's Mikhail. Okay. 
Damn. It's sad. I can't distinguish between uh, the nationalities of Nikolai and Mikhail. I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be different. Nikolai is Russian, but who is Mikhail? Right. How's that going for you? This city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. Boy, Mikhail seems more of a cynic this time. has suffered serious losses. Just alive Actually, was Carlos in your platoon? I thought he was in a different one. Especially for going by the S.D. Perry novels, which, honestly, for Resident Evil 3, you should check that one out. I think she, uh... I think she actually wrote that one pretty well. Oh, Lantis is asking me, so, how is it? Uh, Lantis, I reply if I wasn't LPing right now. I'm in. But I am on their side. Not yours. Oh, hey. That's cool. We all want the same thing. Well, they should be on the same side. I know what Jill was trying to say, though. Here you go. <laughs> Super cop. Well, I don't know if she's really proven it yet, her, the badassness that she brings out in Resident Evil 3. But I guess the fact that I have escaped nemesis even once so far proves that I at least know how to survive and uh who are these other guys so it's not just Carlos Mikhail and Nikolai there's more or maybe those were zombies hanging out I don't know I mean the door was Well, no, the door isn't quite blocked. Okay, so maybe there are other civilians that Carlos and Mikhail have picked up. Whatever, they're all going to die except for me and Carlos, you know it. I will be pleasantly survived if we actually have more survivors or... Or, like, somebody different than Carlos survives storyline-wise by the end. Along with Jill. Ammunition crafting guide. Alright, so how do we do this? Okay. Looks like we're going the same route as a RE2 remake. Honestly, I would have kind of liked it if the system seemed that it was as, like, extensive... Um, as it seemed to be in RE3. I would have liked for it to uh, to have used uh, that crafting system instead of the RE2 remakes, but, you know, whatever. Astro Crunch. Well, one thing's for sure, the uh, sequence of events has definitely been different so far, and I can appreciate that. It looks like we're just now going to start exploring the idiot street level. I mean, we've pretty much been, you know, across the city area in full by the time we get to uh, the respective scene in the original where Jill meets uh, Carlos's team members and you know they decide on how to get out of here but we're just gonna we're just now gonna start exploring it cannibal murders in the gray of the morning on September 25th a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault a man described as disheveled like a vagrant attacking a passerby north of Lamb's Museum of Art. Responding officers discovered the mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man's take? Okay, that's kind of insensitive to try to make like a joke out of this. 
We here at News Comet have a gnawing fi Oh my gosh. A gnawing feeling. Okay, these guys are assholes. That the so-called cannibal disease patient Spencer Re Memorial has been providing... F Spencer Re Memorial has been providing free treatment for... Sorry, read that sentence wrong. Since August, might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reports have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, ask the tough questions, come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. <laughs> Obviously not that seriously though for you guys, since you're making puns out of this. Top side like we're underwater. And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Okay, so Carlos is going to be... Oh, what is this? Item boxes, just like in RE7. Or if they look just like RE7, the function is the same as uh, RE4 or 5. I, I think they were in 6. I can't remember because that game sucked and I only played it like once. And RE7. So, hmm. This will be interesting. Mixed a green herb and a red herb and got an achievement for that. I don't think that was necessary. Oh, good. Her clip has 15. That'll work. Oh, is this our item box? Oh. Uh. Oh. Tell me to use the item to get it open. I'm going to assume that it, I cannot use the knife to just slice it open. Here the big leaves, we mix our own meds, so get these recipes memorized. Let's get this done and then go grab a beer. <laughs> okay, whatever. Well, I suppose I should keep the knife. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and keep only one, her one herb on me for now. Uh, don't need any cribbins to say, so okay, that'll do it. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time in part two. But for right now, since I've been up all night, I'm actually going to need to sleep before getting back on this.